Hey, hey, what's up? This is Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. Horn, the booking magnet. Today, we have a special guest. This is our Hollywood Bound Actors Spotlight, where we do amazing interviews and conversations with people who are in the industry actively here to give you insight, give you inspiration. And today, we have the beautiful Braley Evans. Hey, Braley. How y'all doing? So glad to be here. Thank you for asking me to do this. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you're here. Um, I know this part might be a little weird, uh, but I'm going to read your bio while you sit here and just look beautiful. And while oh, I'm reading yeah. this, y'all can make sure you follow Braley on Instagram, Braley Evans, BraleyEvans.com. You can get your whole life there. But let me just let you know about Braley. She is a beautiful, as you can see, multi-talented native from Oakland, California. She's an actress. She's a vocalist. She's a voiceover talent and author of the new book, The ABCs of I Am's. You have to get it. I got mine. I wish I had it signed, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Whether Braley is making you cry in a drama, laugh in a comedy, entertaining you on Instagram, or selling you something, because honey, she will. She's an entrepreneur at heart. Get the get the yoga mat. I saw the the twenty five pushups. Oh, wow. uh, she's um she's Braley is just everything, and you can get everything from BraleyEvans.com. She is here for the people, as she likes to say, and it's her mission to ignite as many people as possible to live by their gifts through her own company, which is Water Walkers Worldwide. And I'm officially a water walker because I got the book and I'm doing yes, my you are. And we'll get into that. But listen, I know some of y'all look like, I know her from somewhere. Yes, you know her. You've seen her most recent work on Ambitions. Where are my Ambitions people at? And don't be quiet today, y'all. This is not a we talking at you, as always. We love the comments. I see y'all already in here. Yay, yay. What up, ladies? Hey, Braley goes hey. on. Yes. So we've known her from Ambitions, For the Love of Jason, Terra Lake Drive, and the uh, family business on BET, and so many other things. That's That's a... Sprint, that's a sprinkle. That's a I, just gave, I just gave you the ones that are on TV now because I, I was like, I can so Y'all can go to IMDb. Y'all know how to research people. But truly, you can catch up on Ambitions. My friend uh, Kendrick Cross is open there oh, too. Oh, that's my boy. Yes, yes. We actually traveled to Cuba together after we wrapped. That's our little, well, that was our thing now, the COVID. But every time we wrap, we try to do a vacation. I love that. Because, you know, you put so much work in and you bond so much. Yes. You want to leave by and go home. Right. Um, so shout out to all of you who are watching. I see you, Dawn. What's up, Jesse Bingham? Dawn, Takima Bowers. So just hey, so you know, this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread. I want to welcome you. Um, my goal and also Braley's goal, which is why I asked her to come. We are givers. We are extremely generous and we also really live in a state of abundance and gratitude. And so we're here to share with you. So some of you are brand spanking new, green, green, green. Some of y'all are seasoned professionals and maybe maybe just need a little jolt of, of hope, of inspiration and motivation and encouragement. And that's why we're here. Um, so if you, there's a link above, if you're watching this live right now, to all my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up? I'm like, what's up? What's up? Love you guys. So my podcast listeners, my YouTube watchers who are going to watch this later, we appreciate you watching. So if you're watching live, there's a way you can leave comments. If you don't click the StreamYard link, I won't see your name, but I will see your comment. I'm not being rude with my phone in my hand. I'm just trying to see your name so I can shout y'all out and give y'all love. So as questions pop up, put them in the chat. We will come to them. But first, I want to dive in for those who don't know you, Braylee, for those who don't know your story. I know you're from Oakland, but Yes. There's something very unique about you. And when I, what y'all don't know is years ago, when I first moved to LA in 2011 ish, I talk about it in my book, when I had no auditions and I was sitting at home after doing The Lion King, I started a podcast back then. It was called Beyond the Shade. And it was, I interviewed actresses of different colors, right? And I interviewed Braley, and you had just completed just right. It was that movie with Common and Queen Latifah. And I was so moved and encouraged by your by your tenacity, by your go get itness, by your spirit, your hustle. So talk about how you came into this industry because you sing and everything. You have a whole story there. So people know the journey. 
I know that I was born for this. Like I'm that little girl who the little three-year-old who was kicking and screaming in the back of the church, sitting in a pew with my grandmother, begging to go up front to stand in the choir stand. Didn't know a song, you know, <laughs> it was this tall, you know, right? But um, I have just always had this desire to perform. Mm-hmm. And so music is my first love. That's where I just knew I would be. So when Beyonce came out, I was like, what you doing? Because it's supposed to be Bray Lonsa. <laughs> Baby girl, sit down. Okay. My so, uh, it was my first love. And then someone across uh, the path of my life, a neighbor, and said, oh, you're an actor. And, and, and something in me said, huh? And I listened. And I'm so glad I did. I never worked again in my life because I listened to someone, you know, and what they heard, uh, you know, what they saw in me. Mm -hmm. So I always employ people to listen to what people are saying about you. There are times that people can see what you can't see about yourself. A perfect quote is, you can't see the picture when you're in the frame. So someone who's outside of it can say, "Mm, you're this. Do you guys know, I'm so glad I, I, you know, heard him and went for it with the acting because literally, this is the longest job I've ever had. I've been fired from everywhere else. <laughs> well, is that what I should be doing? I Thank think you. I've got to the job, but you know, a, a year, maybe two years. I, I've always been fired. So I became an entrepreneur early on before I started acting. My cousin Sharon Hogue, hey Sharon, um, coached me into uh, going to school at night to become a real estate agent. So mm-hmm. I could work for myself because I kept getting fired. Right. I'm like, you gotta do something. Because I, I love to sell stuff, but not for other people, apparently. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, that's my story. And and that's how I got to this point was listening to someone else say, You're an actor. Yeah. And also, you know, I preach I preach this a lot, and I would love for you to talk a bit about this. It's very easy in this industry for us to want just our wait to get discovered. You know, and I have a saying, don't wait to get discovered, prepare yourself to be seen. So can you talk a bit about how that has shown up in your life? Because I know you didn't wait for an agent. You had a freaking national commercial. I mean, there's all kinds of stories where you got yourself in the room or you didn't take no for an answer. Can you talk about that and how that that kind of mindset separates you from actors who are still waiting and hoping someone is giving them something? My girlfriend and extremely talented acting coach, Kanique Sky. Yes, Kanique. Um, yes, she is teaching those kids over on Mixed Dish. Mm-hmm. They are just phenomenal. She says, don't wait, create. Mm-hmm. And those are words to live by. There's no reason if God has put this desire in your heart to act that you're waiting on another human being. I need you to hear that. You're waiting on another human being to give you a green light. When the desire was put in your heart was your green light. Mm-hmm. And we've been blessed with this thing called social media, YouTube. Why are you not doing skits? If I didn't do, if Jeanette Jenkins, the Hollywood trainer, didn't say to me, Braley, you would be famous if people knew you were alive. Those words, woo, woo, woo. she said those words to me and it changed my life. And she was a part of the team that we pulled together all of our friends. We had Kimber do my makeup. Um, We had, um, he calls himself, I can't even think of his little funny name, but anyway, that we had a friend who loved to do styling. I had a friend who, um, who loved to dance. I pulled together all these people. And if you go to YouTube, even today and type in the Braley show, you'll see the three or four skits, three minute skits that I put on YouTube. Maybe the day after she said, if, if people knew you were alive, you'd be famous. And I said, okay, mm-hmm. well, let's let them know I'm alive. People are getting discovered on YouTube. And it was that it was that very YouTube that did not go viral. I need you to hear me. Okay. Now, well, it's not necessary to go viral to create what I've created and God's no respecter of person. So it could happen for you too. So I put those skits up on YouTube and Queen Latifah and Paula Patton happened to be laughing at my skits in their trailer. On the set of Just Right, when Senna Hamry walked in and said, who's that? And she's, oh, this is my, this, Paula's like, this is uh, Queen's little sister. 
that I don't know why she don't put her on. The girl sing, dance, do whatever. And she's like, she's not my real sister. I just call her baby sis. Cause people when I, you know, would be with her all the time would be like, oh, that's, you know, Queen Latifah's sister, you know, I'd be like, okay, I, I'll be her sister. Her little sister, I sure will. And, um, and um, they said, okay, we'll put her in this movie. Like it was, it was, that's how I got in the movie. No audition, no, nothing formal. It was that someone of import, some people of importance laid eyes on this non-viral hundred view mm. <laughs> video. And this they- is a word, y'all. This it's is a word. word. It's a word. Don't wait, create. I also hear my girlfriend in Atlanta, Georgia, Ernestine, um, she always says that too. Don't wait, create. Like we have got to get out here and use the gifts that God gave you and realize the wealth is in your hands. It's not in the gatekeepers. It's not in the casting directors. It's not in the producers. The the onus is on us. It's like, you know, don't be caught being that. Uh, and I, I refer to the Bible a lot because that that's where my help comes from. And that's what I stand on. So there's a story in there that talks about someone who buried their gifts and they was waiting waiting them for an opportunity to come. But instead they buried the gift. So when Jesus came back, he said, I still got the gift you gave me. <laughs> and the other people they gave the gifts who had multiplied theirs. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I, I invested it here. I did a YouTube over here. I, I went to, uh, I bought Christine's book. I, I come to her daily bread, actor's daily bread. I'm a, a, a university student. I feel like this is a university, a Hollywood bound actor. Hey, that's what we call it. It's, HBU. it's a HBU. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this is the actor's HBU right here. I did the work and it's a yeah. show you've approved, y'all. Like, I just need you to jump in, jump in today. I even like, I, and it's one of the, one of my acting coaches and one of my um, casting director friends said, stop telling people to, to get on YouTube because it's bad. <laughs> but I kind of want you guys to start exercising your gift until it gets good. You know, I, I don't want you to judge because what if it's not bad? You know what I'm saying? And what it, and that's okay. It, accept what people are telling you about what you're doing and then sharpen it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, I, I want you to get the training, go to class, get in class, learn the craft, learn the language, do all that. But still let people know you're alive. It might just be your superpower. It, and it might change your life. Truly. Family. Yeah. You know, you, in this audience, in this community of Hollywood bound actors, you know, I'm very transparent I'm, I, and I like to talk to the root of things because I know all of us as actors, we've invested in classes, courses, studios, and they're like, just do this, do this, just do that, you know, go ahead, do it. But then what a lot of people don't talk about is the wall we come up against in the quiet of, of night when we're, when we are saying, when you've already recorded the skit, it's all, all you got to do is hit, up, hit upload, but then you're dealing with the voice, the voices, the insecurities. So how do you, and I, I feel like it might have something to do with these I am's. My light is so bright. You can't really see Mine that. is bright too. You see my book back here. Right. Shining, but- shining, shining, shining. Yeah. yeah. It has everything to do with yeah. what you say about yourself. Yes. If that's what other people say about you. Let them talk. Honey, if they talk and it's a good thing, you want them to be talking. But what do you say about yourself? I, I had a revelation last night. I was live on my Instagram with a good friend, Matt Day, who's an extraordinary dancer, dances with, I don't say for, but he dances with Jennifer Lopez. And he was on the Vegas um, tour that she had going on there. And he, he asked me, it's just last night, like, what is it? And I said, it, it, it's been, since I've grown up, I've had this entitlement. And see, people would take that as a negative, you know, oh, you know, don't be entitled to whatever. But honey, them promises in that Bible, you are entitled to those things mm-hmm. because you are here. It tells you to take dominion. It tells you that if you can just believe, then you can have all these things. It, if you can just remember who you are and why you walk this earth and then then you can begin to call some things into your existence by using the I am an actor. Don't you ever say I'm an aspiring actor. What is inspiring? You're going to be aspiring for about 15 years. Don't do that. Don't do that. So, and there goes my neighbors. That's great. So it's what you say. And uh, specifically last night, I learned, I said, my cousins and I were backstage. Oh my God. I have the picture right here. Does anybody know who this is? 
Can you tell who that is? I can't. I can't. Can you tell? No, you can't tell. I can't tell. Can y'all tell? I'm looking at the comments. Anybody know? That's Michael Bibbins. Oh wow! Bell Biff Depo. Now we see. Now we see that baby face. And you see that towel on my shoulder that he just gave me, baby. Yeah. I was 15 with my lip gloss, like, what? I'm at the concert. <laughs> but my cousin and I, my cousins, we said, let's go backstage. We got up out of our seats and we walked to the area because we knew that concert hall because we'd been there many times in Oakland, California. And we walked right past security and just walked. Because when like you, you belong, me, like you belong there, you belong. it's what do you say about yourself? Come on. And, and the shift that happened last night on this live was, I, it just hit me. I started to cry because I said, oh, my God. We said to each other, let's go backstage. We didn't say, let's try to get backstage. Mm -hmm. I need you. It's a simple shift in your language about yourself. Like, you know, are you, I'm an aspiring actor. I'm trying to get an agent. Yeah. Take the word try all the way out. What is a T? We don't even use a T word over here in Water Walker Land. We like what I said on accident. Like I'm trying to be cute. My 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 sister said we we doing what? I said excuse right. me. I'm, I'm being cute. Right. I'm over here being cute. Because we don't use the T word. That's a curse word to us. The mm -hmm. T word. We, we don't say that. So a sh simple shift in what. And even if you make a mistake and you happen to say something that's less than what you desire, I always say say what you seek. That's it. Anything else you should not be talking about. You shouldn't be talking about nobody else's business. You shouldn't be talking about I look fat because, honey, I'm bigger than all my actress girlfriends. And I was the first one in working. OK, so it ain't got nothing to do with what your body look like, what your face look like, what your skin look like. You are perfect just the way you are. You are. It is. It is. Yes. Just where you are is absolutely perfect. So it's not. Well, when I lose weight, I'm going to get some headshots. No, boo. I know. <laughs> what? If I waited, I would not have been able to be in Sparkle. Tune Ann was a thick girl. They needed the curves. They needed the brown and round. Tamala Ban played my mom. We had to be thicker. Mm -hmm. had to be. None of my thin girlfriends would have been able to take the role because it called for me. Right. And there are roles that are called for you that none of us can play, but you. It is yours by divine right. I just, that's why that's why Christine and I can celebrate each other because we know she can't take no role from me. Not at all. I can't be her on my best day, baby. And she got she she know all of the tricks of the trade. I'll be looking at your Instagram being, oh, yep, remember that, Braley. This, <laughs> this is a, a multi-cam, not a single cam. This is the kind of stuff I need to like you still sharpen me, sis. But we do that, but we do that for each other, and that is the beauty of again operating from abundance and being an open vessel to learn and grow always. Yes. Each and every was each and every one of us has a gift, has a sparkle, has that unique something. That's why we say you don't got to reinvent the wheel, just put some rims on it. And guess what? You are the rims. So why are you trying so hard? Just be you. You're already great. And you just find your way and navigate through this industry, but stay open and, and humble enough to, to be open to learn. To learn, to learn. Like, and, and I love that, that us being givers is a part of our superpower. Like, because we, we don't mind giving to each other, helping each other, supporting each other, then the universe can then work on our behalf. Like people say, oh, she was saying God. Now she's saying the universe. Well, honey, let me clear you up real quick. My God made the universe to work for me. Oh, okay. You got it now. So I can, so when I say universe is because it's a tool that has been given to us to, you know, literally like be live our best lives always. Right. I need you to know, like, there's a certain vibe. If you vibrate high enough, there are certain viruses that can't even touch you. Come on. I'm just going to say that <laughs> and leave it right there. Come on. Certain things can't even touch you because it's, a, it's, it's, you know, how you vibrate is how everything around you works. You know, you have you have uh, low self esteem. You you say things about yourself. Those things show up. I said this is a the greatest boomerang tool you'll ever find is right mm -hmm. here. When you look at your friends and family's mouth. Oh, somebody put Michael Bibbs. Uh, when uh, you put your friends and family uh, 
in your mind and look at where they are, you know, not judging them, just saying, I see where you are. You see them working those jobs that they hate. You see them broke, busted and disgusted. Now, I want you to go back to your last conversation with them. Oh, my God. Did you see the correlation? Everything that they were saying is showing up in their lives. So what do you say? Hmm? I always like to say your life is like the Cheesecake Factory menu. Anybody been to the Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> page, if, are you ready to order? No, I'm on page 19. Can you come back? <laughs> right? But but the thing about that is you can place your order. Place your order. There's no limitations except those that you put on yourself and you will always find evidence of that which you seek and that which, that which you speak. So that's why this is so powerful. Oftentimes, Braley, and I want to get into this a bit about, about TV and about tips and things like that and talk about your work. But also people often say, Christine, just tell you booking so much. How you book? How do I need to? Is it my backdrop? Is it the ring light? <laughs> yes, you need some tech tips, but I can give you all the tech tips. I can tell you what sheet to buy, what lights to buy. I can tell you how to get what camera's nice. But until you deal with this and this and this healing inside out. <laughs> Let me help you. Please, y'all. Her at Brandy's I, This is not to sell books. This is to get it's a game changer. Come on, this is to get you on your way to where you are supposed to be. This it there are millions of networks. There are millions of parts. So team, there is no lack of opportunity for you to come on and do what we do. Mm -mm, like, there is none. This here, open it, and I tell people, don't don't start at page one. Pray. And wherever you land is where you need to be. Wherever you land, just open it up anywhere. Oh, and I bet you this thing will speak to you and you and get that in your spirit. You got to do your I am's daily. You got to remind yourself, who am I? Why am I here? What is my purpose? Who am I helping? That's that's another thing. If you don't have a specific group of people that you plan to help, that's your number one chore. That's your number one assignment after looking at this video. Why am I doing this? And who right. does it help? Why am I doing this? And who does it help? Mm -hmm. I am here to help every curvy girl under the sound of my voice know that you can be sexy, saved, curvy, funny, successful, all of it. I'm here to represent us and tell you to come on, sis. Let's go. Like, who, that's just it. It's like, I'm here to serve. And as I serve, see, as I take care of other folks' business, as I take care of other folks' business, God takes care of my business. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I see that happen every day in my life. I believe it. I believe it. Every day. It's beautiful. And and the teacher teaches himself. That's it. Huh? Oh, just, exactly. no, I'm not out here talking from a place of... Right. Oh, right. No. Huh? I Literally, I am the... What I always say... I am the student and the teacher child. Like sometimes I say things and be like, oh, let me write that. Down. <laughs> me hold on, hold on. Let me give me a pen. Because I'm talking right now. That was like, yes, preach. Come on. Yes. Kenya, Kenya <laughs> Brown, shout out to Kenya Brown. Kenya Brown said, let me stop playing and get this book now. Yeah. Tell me. Go to BraleyEvans.com, go to Amazon, whatever, you know, whichever one floats your boat. Get it, get it, get it. And 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 go look in the mirror. Mm. And really examine yourself and get excited about who you are. Like your life is on purpose because you woke up this morning. Like a lot of people didn't make it, but we still have something to do. That's why we're here. And let's be on purpose. And you're only watching and you're only connected to Christine because she's been assigned to your life. Amen. Okay, this is a great assignment. God, do y'all know that God knew everybody that was going to log on today? Like, it's already been predetermined. He said, I assign you to this moment, log on to this because I'm going to speak through these ladies and you're going to get this. Then it's going to cause you to do this. And then it's just, a, we are part of your journey. Yes. I'm so blessed to be on this journey with you, which I'm sorry, I, which takes me yeah, back. You're awesome. You are from the interview. Like I, I'm on your journey where we have these place markers that God is like, oh, then you're going to meet again here. Then y'all yeah. be here. It's like we didn't plan this. No, like, no. 
it was so it was so amazing. We were in a table read together, and I was so excited to see you. And I was like, "Oh, I got your book! I know. I got your book! Like, come on!" We were friendly. We both we had the table read, and we're like holding up each other's books, like, "Look!" And all we did we were like, we're like, celebrating. I know folks looking at us. What they doing? Celebrating each other. They were done any other. Really, I wonder if this is so good. And y'all, if you're picking up what we're putting down, give us some hearts, give us some love, put some comments in the chat here. We'll take questions. I uh, just right now we gotta we gotta warm up your spirit, gotta warm up your heart, gotta get you in the right headspace. Um, and again, this book, the ABCs of I Am's, it's just powerful. I mean, our affirmations and anybody who's worked with me, any of my Bookmore TV students, you already know how much we deal with mindset. And I just think it is just a good reminder because we have to put on this daily armor. This We're in an industry where we deal with a lot of rejection. You're taping day yeah. after day for these auditions. You're not getting the feedback that you desire all the time. You hear a lot of no's before you hear the yeses. And the yeses can feel few and far between sometimes, depending on the season of your life. And so it's, an, it's imperative that you surround yourself with community, with support. Some of you I know don't even have it at home. You don't have it in your family. You don't have it in your close-knit friends. So that's what this community is here for. Um, and that's what the podcast is here for. So just know that you are seen here. You are heard here. You are loved here. And we hold space for you. And this is just another tool to put in your toolbox. And that's why I'm so happy, Braley here. You know, Braylee, you do a lot. You do film, you do TV, you do, you do many things. But, you know, I, I do a lot of teaching on television and I would love to hear some of your tips, tricks, special, special, uh, again, another Salt Bay reference, little, how you sprinkle your Lowry's when you on set. You know, you've done things. You, you've played the, the funny best friend, the, the sister, but you've also played the, you know, the sexy siren, the wife. How do you, what's your, what's your, one of your favorite things to do I'll start here. I'll ask you a few questions about TV because I know a lot of people are on, you know, got the popcorn ready. When you get a script, when you get a script sent from your team and they say, Braley, we think you'd be great for this. We submit, we pitched you for this and you get it and, and you like it. What, what is a bit of your process in prepping for that, for that audition or maybe producer session? First things first. So I read it down in its entirety mm -hmm. and then I go back. And when I say it's entirety, not only the lines, but I read the, the directions, said direction. Mm -hmm. Then I go back and I literally copy down. I extract all of my lines with no punctuation in a tablet. Okay. And, because, and I do that because right now we don't speak with exclamation points and periods and question marks. We just have a stream of thought. And it's just one whole stream. And it's not like I'm thinking and I'm going to pause and skip some lines right here because Christine, Christine is going to. Um, you got a visitor? Yeah. Who's there? Who, that, who is that? I mean, it might be a flower delivery, darling. I mean, and do you want to work? This is live, y'all. It was a delivery, you guys. It was the greatest <laughs> truck. Okay, UPS, you, you ain't coming up in here, but they left whatever it was. Come on, y'all. Let's, Come on, let's yes, yes. Thank you more, please. All right. So I, I write because I want you guys to remember that acting as an actor, it's a stream of thought. And we don't have this, and I do it without punctuation. And it's so it just looks like pages of just thoughts. And that's how I process. Uh, how I'm de start to develop the character. It's a stream of thought and not, you know, waiting for the next person to speak. This is how this person sees the world, right? So um, that's the, fir the first thing I do. After that, I kind of go back and now that I have an understanding, because by the time I do that, I have an understanding of who this person is because I have an understanding of their thought process. Process, right. Oh, they go from this to this. OK, they go from positive to negative. Oh, they're a negative. Pot. Like it's so that you do that. Then I go back and line for line. I pull out their subtext, why they said that and, and why they said it, how they said it, because mm -hmm. we could we're going to both go in an audition. Right. And the way we see the world is going to differ from the next person because of their life experiences. Mm -hmm. So if, 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 even though it's a scene where uh, she tells him, I love you, yet she's leaving, someone else is gonna see that 
in a diff different way because of their experiences. So I like to put the subtext, then I go back and put subtext in there as to why. So I fill up the spaces mm -hmm. for me so that my body and my mind are always ticking when I'm, you know, in a performance, when I'm in right. a performance. Mode. Like, and I tell people, actors don't play roles. We don't play, I'm not playing. I live, like I live the role. Like I, I, I get in this person's life. I step into their life. I don't play them. Yeah. Yeah. I That's literally true. say, you know, Rondell Lancaster, case in point. Let's talk about that audition. I didn't have much. I had one night. I got the audition during a lunch. I was a series regular on uh, the show Last Call. They gave me the lines that, and they said, we're coming back to your lunch tomorrow. Now I'm a series regular y'all on the show, which means I'm in every scene for the show I'm being paid for. Okay. They gave me three scenes for an audition for Rondell Lancaster. I was like, do they realize that I'm on a whole show? Okay. All right. I can do this. I can do this. I'm professional. I can, I can handle this. My process. I extracted the lines. I went in, put my subtext in. I had to, I had to do the work, you know, so I could know who Rondell was. But can I be completely honest with y'all? When it was time to get in that room during my lunch break to do this audition, I didn't have the lines all the way down. But I, but because I had done that thought work, I knew who Rondell was. I knew how she thinks and how she responds to people. So even within the audition, I could start off the scene. I don't like holding paper. People who do hold pages still. I don't do this. I don't hold no paper in my hand because if I'm living, if, if, if ain't nobody living their life holding a piece of paper, no, you have to understand this character, like get to know the person. And because that, that's my, that just is my way of being. I went in there and I was off book a bit and then I lost it. I didn't remember what was on the page, but I knew who she was. So I could still right. respond to you. Right. I could still respond from a place of Rondell. And I think they caught gist of what I was doing. They were like, oh, she is not on the page, but baby, she's still in this thing. <laughs> she's committed. You commit. I was committed. I didn't, I didn't drop it. I didn't, I, but I was off the page, but I was in Rondell. That's important. Yeah. Do you know they never even mentioned that I was off the page? The director, it was it was uh, Benny Boom and Sheila Ducksworth from Will Packer's office were in that room watching me, and they didn't. Nobody said nothing. <laughs> they let her be. Let he her said, be. Child. What you say? I let her be, child. She's doing it. Just go ahead. Go ahead on. My only note in that room was, "Hey, can you try it one more time?" Uh, as if you don't know the guy, it was Peters, who's walking in. Act as if he's a stranger because the last time you did it, w the audience would have known that you know him or have some history. I want you to do it as if you don't know who he is. That was my only note. Did it that way. 30 minutes booked the gig. Come on. 30 minutes getting a call from my agent like, uh, you're on a series regular. You're in Atlanta for a month now, but guess what? You'll be here for the next eight months because you're just, you're going to be on own. Oprah is now your boss. Um, okay. So, sure. and, that, and that wasn't one of those flawless auditions. I would let, one day I got to call Benny and interview him and say, "Tell me what you thought of me on that in that interview process, and and see if he even mentions that I went off book." I don't even think they cared or noticed or whatever. But I was Rondale, and that so that's why I think dealing with the thought process of a character is super important. A lot of people don't even think about that. They just yeah. want to put the words on the page. But what do the words on the page mean? Right. People then, have they mean to I memorize. And I'm like, stop trying to memorize. Well, I don't even let priority, my that is not priority one. <laughs> if you come to a Braley Evans one on one session, I, we don't even memorize. That's one of them cuss words. Cuss words. <laughs> we memorize. No, I want you to live, play. Yes. Cuss words. Cuss word, play. We don't play up in here. This is real. You know, people don't watch TV to watch you play something. They watch TV to see a slice of extraordinary life. Mm, you know, yeah. and what, what amazing opportunity we have to step into someone's life. You know, one of my quotes that I love the best, Braley Evans said it, is the reason why I love being an actor is because I get to live a thousand lives in my one life. Yeah. 
I get to live. I mean, I get to be a killer, a mistress, a wife. Uh, you know, I, I can do all kinds of things. I done did all kinds of stuff, y'all, that I would never do as Brady. <laughs> I done said and did some things, child, rolled around with some men. Honey, I get to live a thousand lives. For the work. It's for the work. Work. For the I done kiss a thousand men for the work. Honey, <laughs> let's get into some of the, honey, I, like some of the, my first on-screen kiss. Lamont Rucker, who made it? Oh, okay. Not me. Not me. <laughs> and it was so beautiful because he was like, you've never done this before, huh? I was like, because he could tell I was chewing gum. <laughs> he was like, hold on, let's talk about this moment. Like, oh, you, I, I've had the best experiences ever. <laughs> what are some of the, what is some of the things, you know, for me, I those of you who've known me for a while, I did a show shot in Atlanta and it was called Complications alongside Jason O'Mara. I was a, a recurring guest star on that show. And I learned so much just by watching the number one, right? So I wouldn't go hide in my trailer unless I was told to leave or I had to go change. I would just stay on set and just watch and absorb and be a sponge. And I learned so much. What have been some shows or sets you've been on where you like, oh, nugget, put that in my toolbox. Oh, nugget. And where have you had a chance to, like, has there been a, a set or a project where you were really getting a masterclass when you showed up? Oh. Pretty much every set I've been on. Um, I mean, geez, what comes to mind first is the very first time, my very first movie, Queen Latifah. Um, I didn't understand why they kept yelling cut back to one. Oh, I don't know if y'all know, I barely had acting class then. So I was like, oh my God, am I doing it wrong? They keep saying, go back to one. So I leaned over, um, seeing as though I knew Dana outside of Queen Latifah and was like, sis, am I doing it wrong? Because they keep saying, go back to one. She said, girl, they moving the lights. They <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, oh. do you, boo? That's how you got here. Those her exact words. Do you, boo boo? That's how you got here. Honey, I felt like, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Like literally, like that's what happened to me if she said that. So Nugget, do you, do you. Another time, masterful uh, class. I was cast in a David Talbert show called Suddenly Single, a stage play for television, mm -hmm. uh, playing the best friend of Garcelle Beauvais, mm -hmm. who was in love with Isaiah Washington. And I didn't understand why I was there. Um, <laughs> Don't cast me. That's, for, that's fancy from, from the Fox show. And that's Isaiah Washington, like the Isaiah Washington. Brilliant. Yes. He's so brilliant. I was, I, that show helped me believe that I'm supposed to be here. Like, these people are like huge. Like, they, they're they're masterful at their crafts, like, and I'm right in here with them. Mm -hmm. and I, uh, that was one. Another one was last call I mentioned earlier. Oh my goodness, Carl Payne, what he does with the words on the page, y'all, ain't none of that stuff he be saying on the script. I'm like, what? Wait, 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 hold up. Well, I mean, I was looking for my line. My okay. Y'all, between Carl Payne, Malik Whitfield, uh, Carson, uh, T.C. Carson, y'all, Erica Payne, y'all, when I tell you, it was such, it was a, it was like once we read the script and got the gist of what was going on, baby, you better have your ears on. Right. Right. That is such a great point about being present and being in the scene. In so the scene. When you we, so many times, you even when some of you are auditioning, we've all been guilty of this, but I want you to hear this. What I'm hearing, what I'm envisioning, Braley, is like this kind of like double, you, double does. You got to get in. You got to be so present. You can't be outside of yourself, looking down at yourself and judging your performance because then you're not present in the scene and present with the other characters. And if you're in a group where ad libbing and improv is a thing, you will drown. Baby, 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 baby. T. C. Carson. Do y'all know y'all know who this is, right? The guy we are living. Call Buck. Yes, yes. Uh, let me tell you, these people are masters at the they would take a written joke and just 
crafted and you're like, that is not what was on the page. <laughs> but then you learn to, then, then you get kind of like, well, let me try a little bit. You right. know, you sharpen yours by stepping into it a little bit. And then you get a little laugh in the room at the table where you're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm in there. I've got this. Like, I've been blessed to be on some amazing sets. I mean, for God's sake, I'm with Valerie Pettiford right now on Family Business. Mm. This woman's craft is Ginsu knife sharp. Like, Valerie, first of all, is a dancer, if you know her history. So even how she moves yeah. as the mother of this dynamic, wealthy, Black family running a city, like everything about her is so just on. I mean, I just sit back and I'm like, really, God? Like, you? Okay. Whitney Houston on Sparkle. I was like... Oh my God! Did we just just say Braley? Okay. (laughs) Yes, ma'am. Right. Try to keep your face. Yes. Yeah. So I think every there's not a set I haven't been on that I haven't learned or haven't, you know, you know, just been in in what you call a master class. It's just amazing. My very first commercial, even like. With Paige Kennedy, the Twix commercial. Go put in Twix booty on uh on uh on YouTube. My very first time on television as an actor, the Twix commercial. I couldn't believe that a hundred people got a job that day because I decided to live in my gift and I decided to 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 own what God had given me and I could be a part of this production. And there are over a hundred checks that are going to be dispersed with lighting and sound and the camera. And, and, and the assistants and the hair and the makeup and the wardrobe department, all these departments and people and gaffers and come on, everybody getting a check. And, and, and I'm, I'm the focus. Standing, standing in your, on, standing on your purpose. Shout out to Carl Gilliard. I know who's part of some of the family business that she's yes, an actor. Yes. yes. She's like, yes, yes. What's up, uh, LaFloyd Isaiah? I was just watching the first two seasons of of season two of the family business. Awesome work, really, with the sexy scenes. <laughs> hey, honey, it's a job, and I'm here for it. <laughs> Shout out to Sean, who is so gracious in those scenes, who is so making sure that I'm comfortable, making sure right. that we, you know, you good. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to Sean Ringle. Like, you guys don't know, like, having camaraderie and respect. Yeah. So fellow actors and you just not getting groped up on just for the fun of being groped up, but you're really living in these characters lives. We even take it outside of, of the, of the acting world. Sean and I will be on Instagram. If I'm like posing with a guy, he's like junior looking like, you know, <laughs> we, we keep our characters going outside of the, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, Sonya love you, you know, we do, yeah. but it just make, when we get on set, we just, we're in it. We're in it. The moment we see our eyes lock, boom, we're there. They ain't no warming up to it. We're there. <laughs> they talking in the chat, talking about Sean. Can, when can we see more of family business? It's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. But yes, we have, uh, I just wrapped a few weeks ago and they're still wrapping up some things, but ooh, y'all. <laughs> get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready. <laughs> I love this. If you Do you have any questions for Braley? This is not the time to be shy, y'all. Any questions? You have a working actress. You know, as I'll, I'm going to give you this moment because we're going to wrap at the top of the hour. So if you have any questions, please post them in the chat and we will acknowledge them. You know, can if I may graciously ask yes. that um, that I uh, I'll let you wrap it up. I'll have to like write about five minutes till because sure. I have a uh, I'm going to be on Fox Soul. Oh so come on, I'm Fox Soul! Yes, well, we need, you need you need a breathing room for that. So um, yeah, I don't see any questions here. Well, I want to say this as we wrap up then because I want to give you a breathing because I know back to back press is a lot. Um, just as we wrap, where can people find you? Where could tell them one more thing about the book and about classes or anything else that you have going on before we let you go? Okay, well, I'm on all social media platforms as Braley Evans, just my name, Braley Evans. Go to BraleyEvans.com so you can connect with me, get in a one-on-one. I even have this special thing because I believe that we all need a tribe. You can't really act on your own. It takes a village to raise an actor. So if you have five friends, so you plus four friends, I do a small group class just for you guys. 
Oh, Up awesome. close personal for a month. So all you have to do is go on there or, or email us admin at BrayleyEvans.com and say, hey, me and my four friends, we want to get into this month of masterclass with you, Brayley, one on one, just the five of us, because I'm going to teach you how to work with each other, how to create your own content, how to jump in now. Like it's now, now, now. We're not waiting till nothing. We're just now. So do that. Um and those are the mastermind conversations is what I call them. Make sure you go on Amazon and to my website, BrayleyEvans.com. Grab your book. I know it's so hard to see because it's white. My next book will be blue. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, you have to. You have to get something that nourishes your spirit. Absolutely. Absolutely. You got to work this industry from the inside out. So yeah. stop caring so much about how you look. And start caring about how you think, mm. how you vibrate, how you show up without saying a word. Those things are going to set you apart. Those things are going to have you kick the door down of this industry. We wait on it's room. You ain't taking no job from us. Trust nope. me. We good. We good. Yes. Plenty of space for you. Yes, Brandy you. Evans, thank you so much. If you missed any part of this, the replay will be available right after this. It'll be on the podcast. It'll be on YouTube soon. Brandy, stay amazing. Keep shining. Keep being a beautiful beacon of light in this industry. You inspire me so much. I'm you so inspire me too. Every time I see your face, I'm like, come on, you're going to be in the hospital bed. Come on, you're going to be in that interrogation room. Come on. You're gonna... I love it. Love, love, love your work. I love, I love being a student of yours, too. Somebody asked, what if I'm going to be on the Tammy Mac show. The Tammy, oh, the Tammy Mac show. Go ahead. We're going to go support you. Go have fun. Thank you, Braley. Thank you all for watching and listening. Bye-bye.